Hello, my beautiful friends. I know it's kind of later than normal, but I wanted to pop on here because, you know, it's getting close to spring. And um, I wanted to show y'all some new lip colors that I just got in. They're not new, but hey, Heather. Um, they're not new. We've had them, but... Um, they're more springy than some of the other ones I tend to wear. So, taking off what I had on. Okay. Hey, pretty, pretty. Did I show you my Easter nails, y'all? They look like little Easter eggs. Anyways, I thought they were so cute. Um, okay, so these are the ones that I have that I was going to show y'all tonight. So we have pink grapefruit and baby watermelon. Mm, I love it. This is another one of my favorites, Dahlia. And then, y'all, I'm going to butcher this name because I do every time. La Sig Signa Signa. I don't I don't know. Um, maybe that's right. Um, but then I also wanted to try this. I got a fuzzy. Um, try this one. This is Saint Tropez. Oh, I do too, Heather. I love Dahlia. Um, okay. Let's see which one do we want to start with. Okay. So we're going to put on pink grapefruit. And this is the multitasker brush. I also love using pink grapefruit on the cheeks as well. Okay, so this is pink grapefruit, and then I also wanted to show y'all what it looks like on the cheekies. It's just a fabulous pink. I love it. I love it. Okay. So, do y'all see what this looks like? Again, this is pink grapefruit. She's a real springy color. And then I also put her over here on my cheeks. Hey, Valerie. Hey, Jennifer. Thanks for hopping on with me, gals. Um, so... I was just telling them this is pink grapefruit. It is a satin and it's just beautiful. Okay, so now I'm gonna take this off. Oh, I hate to take her off because she is pretty. Jennifer, I hope you're loving your makeup. You too, Valerie. I think we need to do another party just to make sure that y'all like know what you're doing. Really, we just had so much fun, I wanna do it again. <laughs> okay, so now Kind of wipe this off just a little bit. 
Okay, so now I'm gonna do baby watermelon. She's super cute. I like to use this color on a lot of my pageant girls because it looks really great um, on stage, especially on the cheeks. Let's see. Yes, ma'am. Valor, if you're almost out, you probably are using too much. Let's see, I'm trying to remember which brush you got. I think you got the 3D brush. I don't have it here with me. Try using um, the blend end of your um, 3D brush, if that's the one you got. You either got this one or the 3D, but I think you got the 3D, if I'm remembering correctly. Um, but try, okay. So Jennifer, did y'all both get the 3D? Hey, Miss Jocelyn. Um, so if y'all both got the 3D, instead of putting it on with the dome-shaped end, try putting it on with the other end, which um, the bristles aren't nearly as packed, so you won't pick up nearly as much product. Um, try that for me and see if that does any better. Um, because really all you need to do is whenever you go in with your brush, um, like right here, you just need, let's see. Okay, yes. I'm pretty sure you got the 3D brush. So try using the other end. Um, see if that works better because the dome end, you do have a tendency to pick up more product with that, just because the bristles are more packed. Um, so try using the other end and see, because all you need to do is just like tap it in there. So it's not a lot at all these products they have um, the creams they have great coverage without using a whole whole lot so um try using the other end see if that helps um i will check back with you what's today wednesday i'll check back with you like maybe around the end of the week um or this weekend and see if that helped any um if not, we will figure it out, girlfriend. Yeah, because if you're almost out, usually your main highlight color, which is the foundation, it's the one that is closest to your skin tone. So that usually will last you about two to three months. So, um, yeah. If you're almost out, try using that other end, okay? And then you can also try melting your tin down too to get, oh, I wish I had a good example of one. Oh, I do. So I need to melt this one down right here because you can see um, the metal part. So whenever it gets all trapped around the edges, if you melt it down and you can just put it on like a little, the round coffee warmer of your coffee pot, you can put it in a pan. Um, some people even use a hairdryer, a straightener. Um, it'll get it out from around the edges and you'll get a little bit more life out of your tin. So just a little tippy there. Um, okay, so this, Baby watermelon. Uh -huh. 
But yes, um, Jennifer, I know both of your gals are doing, not, but they do pageants. This is a great, great, great color. This is what I use on a lot of my pageant gals. It looks great on stage. Um, so this is baby watermelon on the lips. And then I'm gonna show it to y'all on the cheek. Ooh, kind of feel like Barbie. The same. We have this one. And so this one is a little bit brighter. This one's a little warmer. But both equally pretty. Um, great for spring. So that. And if you put them both, oh yes, girl, we can do that. She is so cute. Oh my gosh. I'm obsessed with her hair. It is just, oh my gosh, it's so gorgeous. Um, but if you put them both side by side, they look very similar, but you can tell this one is brighter. This one's a little bit warmer. And this is the pink grapefruit. This is the baby watermelon. Okay. I'm going to take this one off real quick. Let's see. No, what we need to do, Jennifer, is get you a VIP link. So, um, whenever you do get Kaylee matched and you order hers, just put everything that y'all order under your VIP link. And that way you start building up... Um, stuff so you can get free makeup. Yes, yes, yes. And that doesn't, um, it doesn't mean, it's just, it just gives you, um, like a link to shop under every time you shop. So, whenever you do, you earn makeup. So, yes, I will do that. And I will send it to you. Okay. I'm going to show... Y'all, this last one. Now, this one's bright, but she is, she is beautiful. Okay. This is Dahlia. Okay. And this is also a satin. I love Dahlia and I love, because it is a satin and it has that drier uh, feel to it, I love to put a gloss over it or an illuminator, which I got a new illuminator. Like I said, it's not new to Saint, but it is new to me. So, um, I will show y'all. This is Dahlia. So this is another one of my favorite 
springy colors. I don't have any more cheeks. I put it on my cheeks for y'all. But I do want to show y'all. So this is one of our cream illuminators. It's called Pearl. And I've never tried it. I've been using this makeup for over three years and I've never tried it. But look how pretty. So I'm just gonna put it on over this and just see. That's pretty. I'm just gonna see what this. This is still that illuminator. I'm just putting it down the center of my nose just to see. Oh, it's pretty. Tip of my nose to give me a cute nose. And over here on the top of your cheekbones. Now, upward direction. Just on the top part of that lip and cheek. It's very pretty. It's very subtle, but it's very pretty. I can't believe I waited this long to try it. So, I have the Illuminator Pearl right there the center of my nose, bring it down here, my cupid's bow to try to make me look like I have one, when I really don't, so that is Dahlia, um, and then just have, I have never tried this one, so I want to try it, um, and we'll just see what it looks like. And I will list on here all the colors that I used okay kind of nervous because I normally don't wear colors this light but So it doesn't, um, I mean, y'all know me. I'm a bright pink gal. My mommy used to say, all you really need is a little bit of confidence and a lot of pink lipstick. So that's always been my motto. This is pretty though. It's definitely lighter than I would normally wear. but I don't hate it. Let's see. I'm gonna put this over it. This is, I'm gonna butcher it again. La Signa, Signa, I don't know. 
I need to look up how to pronounce it correctly. So I'm not on here just pronouncing it however I please. So that's pretty, not something I would wear. I bet it would look pretty on the cheeks. You can't really get a true idea of what it looks like because I have the other on there, but I think it would be really pretty on the cheeks. Um, Yeah, especially if you've got that um, real tanned skin, which we're coming into summer, so, whoops, I cannot wait to get a tan. I feel rather Casper-ish lately. Um, but thanks for hanging out with me, guys. I was excited to show y'all these colors so thanks for hanging out with me again the ones i used are pink grapefruit baby watermelon she's my fave um then dahlia i don't know so she is bright but so pretty. And then this one right here is pink grapefruit, Dahlia. And then, oh, I'm about to drop it. And then baby watermelon. Then Sandra, okay. over there on the end. So lots of different choices for all different uh, skin tones. Um, if you want a color match, I can color match your tone to any of these lip shades. I can color match um, you to your main foundation shade. Um, all that good stuff. That's what I do. It's what I love doing. So um, if y'all need anything, let me know. Color match, just shout out to me and we can do that. Um, and I will list all of these shades that I used down in the comments. And I hope y'all have a great night. Thanks for hanging out with me for a little bit. And um, tomorrow is Thursday. We're almost there. Friday. All right. Good night.